Hello, hello, hello. So, this review is for Transformers. It took like two weeks to get to my car stick. So, <clears throat> when the movie first started, I was like, wait a minute, where are all these black people came <laughs> from? And I forgot that Tyrese was in either the first one or the second one. So, but to be honest, this one, I think, had the most. I think it was like four or five black people in it. So, that was, uh, to me, that was a little bit much. Not that I'm saying I didn't want to see black people in there, but I'm so used to seeing non-existent black people from movies and TV shows. So, with that being said... um, the, the Puerto Rican guy, when he was talking to his little brother, because his little brother got sickle cell, uh, sickle cell uh, disease, because there's two types. It's the sickle cell trait, and then it's the sickle cell disease. I got the trait. So anyway, he's talking to his little brother, and, you know, they was in the car, and he was like, you remember the rules, right? Or something like that. He was like, yeah, bros before hoes. <laughs> was like, oh, my God. Like, why are you teaching your 11-year-old brother that? So you teaching him early to be disrespectful to women. So, um, but that was one of the reasons, one of the things that pissed me off. And, um, and this is like within the first 20 minutes. And then the second thing was the black girl, um... I said, uh, I don't know, something was just off about her. And um she was working for she was in she was interning for the uh for the white lady and the white lady was just talking to her like trash. Now I can relate to that because I've had over thirty two jobs in my lifetime. So and I've had asshole bosses that think that this is how you talk to, you know, talk to a human being and like, in the beginning, yes, I was taking that because I was like, I don't want to be without no job. So, in this situation with the girl and the Transformers, that's how she was looking at stuff. She was like, I ain't trying to be, you know, out of no job or anything like that. So, so I didn't like that part, how she was, you know, how her, her boss was talking to her. And then, um, then she, her boss was asking her, like, her boss was asking her, um, about the pieces and stuff, right? And because she was saying something about somebody was had brought fake stuff at her museum or something like that to that nature. So the black girl was telling her, you know, it was this, this, and this. So I was like, oh, okay, okay. So, you know, at least, you know, they got a smart chick. The white lady, of course, took all the credit. So I was like, okay. So now I'm having flashbacks. Even though I wasn't born then, this was long before my time, but it reminded me of what was going on, what white people did to us when we were slaves. So, so moving on, um, the other thing was the, uh, Toby McGuire. I love this dude. And I, of course I looked at the cast members first and, um, that's how I found out that Toby McGuire was, oh, wait a minute, I'm saying his name wrong. Hold up. That is not his last name. I'm just going to say Toby. So, <laughs> Um, Toby McGuire. No, that is not his last name. So this dude, Toby, um, I said, why every time? And it's not all the time, but why? Because I remember back in the day that the black people, we was the first people to get killed in a movie, in a scary movie or any type of movie. Black people was always the first one to go. And then when the comedians start doing, you know, jokes about it, they kind of like fell back. But Toby... I love this dude, and I love him, his wife, his kids, and I love his videos. Like, this dude is, like, highly favored by whoever he believe in. And um, I was a little bit shocked to see him and um, because I know he's a singer, and I think this is his first acting, as far as I know. I think this is his first acting gift. But anyway, Toby, I like his, his videos, his singing videos, because all the women are dressed... They're like covered up. They're not showing. They're not half naked or naked or, you know, showing body parts. So that's what I like about him. So, but I think it's going to take a hundred years before other people start showing that, you know, they respect women. But anyway, so he's in the movie and he's telling the Puerto Rican dude because the Puerto Rican dude was trying to get a job so he could help his mom take care of his little brother because of the doctor bills and stuff. So everywhere he was going, they was like giving him the shaft. So... 
he went and talked to Toby and Toby was like, well, because first I thought Toby was telling him to rob a bank or something because it was like nighttime, but he wanted him to break into this car and then I guess take the, the, the contents or either sell the car. I don't know. But of course, when the car, <laughs> that was funny when the car started, cause I saw the little insignia. So I was like, yeah, that's transformers. <laughs> so when the car, when the car started, um, had, had cut on, and was driving. He was like, I can't get out. And the cop was like standing there. The cop was like, get out. So he couldn't get out of the car. So that was funny. So when he drove past Toby, Toby was like, oh, okay. He was all excited. But then when he saw the cop, he was like, Err. he did. I said, yep, that's what black people do. <laughs> they get out of Dodge real quick. When they hear the cops coming, most of them, when they know they doing something wrong. So that part was funny, even though it was a little bit, uh, I don't want to say racist, but, um, outlandish, that's a better word. So, um, then when, um, once he met up with the Autobots, the way that they was talking to the Puerto Rican dude, I said, wait a minute, I don't like the way this whole, this whole genre is with this movie. And I love Michael Bay. I love all his movies. I love Transformers. But I was like, this drawing had a different type of feel to it. And I don't know if it was because it was five black people in here. You know, I don't know. But um, when he met up with the auto, you know, once he got out of the car and, you know, all the other bots, the auto bots that came there and they scanned him. I said, what the hell? I said, wait a minute. And then I was thinking, I said, wait a minute, they did do that. Not in every movie that I, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I don't remember them doing it. And all of the movies, but yes, they was scanning, you know, a couple people. So, but that part was kind of not funny, but it was kind of uh, uh, offensive to me because when the pandemic was going on and you couldn't go nowhere, you had to wear gloves, you had to wear the mask. And then they came up with this thing that they was putting the, uh, the, uh, the temperature thing on your head. And a lot of people were saying that it was preparing for us for when it's a whole that's a whole but anyway let me stick to the movie so so i was kind of you know a little bit offensive about them scanning him and then um the autobots they doing their sob story i'm like oh, man like really so i just fast forward that part and then you know b the transformer you know that's my favorite so um he gets killed. So I said, damn, man. Because my friend had told me, he was like, you know, B gets killed. So I was like, really? He said, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I, I ain't mean to tell you that because he watched it like a week ago. So um, I said, no, I ain't one of those people. Like, I want to know. So that way I know what to expect. I'm not one of those people. So B died. And then um, the uh when they brought the uh the dude no 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 the dude was trying i guess he was trying to um i'm trying to remember i just literally watched that john this morning so anyway the dude was with the was trying to get the the key trying to get the key so that way you know prime and them can get back home so you know the autobots so so they can get back home so the travel key whatever that's what i'm gonna call it so the girl was already working at night and she had scanned it and then like the outside had broke away and she was like, oh my God, I'm going to get fired. I was like, yep. <laughs> yep, definitely about to get fired. So you better quit. You better leave a note and just be out. Take what you got to take and just be out. So when they, when the bad Transformers came and they shot the, uh, a bomb or a rocket and the joint blew up like half the daggone, like a piece of the building. And then she started running. She was out. She ain't even say, well, look, this is what's going on. She was just out. And I said, yep. Typical black person. She was out. She was like peering. She was down the steps. And then here come the Puerto Rican dude behind her. And she was like, well, stop following me. He was like, no, I'm just running in the same direction. I'm trying to escape. <laughs> In the same direction that you're running to. So, um, the robots. This is what I don't understand about a robot, right? And I don't know why I ain't think about this. Because I haven't seen almost every damn Transformers. But a lot of people don't know is that Transformers been out way longer than 35 years. They were only animated. It wasn't no, like, real people as far as I know of. Because I used to own the animated collection, like, in 92, 93. So, with that being said, um, how in the world, first of all, 
from what I've read and seen, how the hell do robots feel pain? And how uh 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 the dude the uh damn what the hell was the uh the robot? Cause you know what the only one I recognized was Prom and B. I ain't recognized the the you know the rest of them. And the main reason why I was in such a rush because I was like, oh man, that's cool as hell. They got King Kong, you know what I'm saying? So I thought it was going to be like a horde of beasts, like at least like eight or nine. It was, and it was three. And then one get killed, the flying one, of course. So, oh, excuse me. I just got finished eating. So I just, he was saying uh, the robot dad had, you know, was had activated that was driving the dude around when the cops are chasing him. He's he going to say, I'm scared of uh, fl uh, spiders. That's when they start fighting the bad guy. So I was like, how the hell a robot is going to say he's scared of of spiders? And how can they feel pain? Like, I know none of this stuff is real. I understand that. But logically, like, sometimes I just can't wrap my head around that because I'm like, if you're a robot, how the hell, how you feel pain? You're a robot. You're made of metal. You can't even eat food. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think I watch too much damn Futurama. So, um... The other thing that I didn't like was how they kept saying Dark Master. So I said, okay, I feel some tight way about that because, you know, here we go, this slavery term again. So, um, oh shit. So then, um, when it came time for their girl and the, the Puerto Rican guy to go in the, the, um, Peru and get the thing and they see her they're they're showing us she's trying to open up this cement thing which you know damn well she can't open by herself even with him and usually take four four people to open this thing so I'm thinking I'm sitting here thinking I was like okay uh, the black people the black women I know they not getting their hair and their nails messed up because you pushing that type of thing you gonna break a nail you gonna crack something and then you're going to have to be sitting in the nail salon for like two, three hours to get that joint repaired. So, you know, nowadays, most black women, they got these long dang on nails. Like they got spiders coming out of, you know, spider leg coming out of their hands and stuff. So that part, I thought it was kind of uh, unrealistic because ain't no black woman letting nobody touch their hair. Because I would tell a motherfucker, quick, do not touch my hair. Whether I got my natural hair out like I do now or got a wig on but mainly my wigs because i take my time and i sold them and i make them and i don't want nobody touching my hair it's as simple as that <clears throat> and sometimes people be putting voodoo and stuff on you when they be touching you so don't be touching me and then um when they were going towards uh the jungle i love the music the rap music and stuff i love the music so i you know i give them 10 points on that i love the rap music everything was like on point and then when they was hitting, like, the Autobots, when they was hitting, like, towards the jungle, I said, oh, yeah, finally, here come King Kong. And then that's, the bird was already with them, or a hawk, whatever she was. And then that's when we saw the rhino and the, the King Kong. But like I said, I was expecting, like, eight to nine animals because the way they deceive you and the way the movie first come on and they showing them fighting and stuff. And I was like, really? Really? I hate when they do stuff like that. So... Um, the ending part was, I liked the ending part, did not, I liked the fact that B came back alive, that part was good, and, and the only reason why he came back alive, because when the bad guys had put the key in there, and the, everything start coming from, why they, I, don't, I guess it's so popular, because Hollywood always got stuff coming from the skies, so anyway, as usual, it's always a threat to mankind, and then they're trying to decide, you know, should we help our own, or should we help the robots, and I'm like, again, I, you know, I know this stuff is, you know, just, you know, fiction, but you still have to stop and think that sometimes people are not what they seem, you know, and I understand movies, too, also, they're just entertainment, you know, so just take everything with a grain of salt. But the ending part was, was, I think the ending part was the best part. Um, when he turned into a Transformer and he was, you know, I thought the dude had died when the bad guy had like stuck the thing in him, was shooting at him. And I was like, wow, like he really taking it. But again, why do robots feel pain? 
So he put his little thing on the Puerto Rican dude and it covered his whole I was like, oh, so it made me think of Iron Man 3 because, you know, Iron Man does all that. He got all this fancy, you know, equipment because he's freaking rich. So that's what that part was. I like that part. And, um, yeah, I like I like the ending part better out of the whole movie. I think the best part was the end. And when he was saying his little brother was saying bros before hold, that was hilarious. And um, because I've only heard grown men say that and never a child that young say it. And um, yeah, it was it was it was a good movie. Yeah, it definitely was a good movie. I would definitely probably watch it again. Maybe I'm going to say maybe. Um, yeah, probably maybe watch it again. But uh, yeah, it was it was a good movie. Um, it wasn't enough action for me, though. Because I had to keep fast forwarding it because I was like, man, I don't hear, I don't want to hear the sob story. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to see that. I'm like, look, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. So that's what I kept doing. <laughs> and then it was at the good part. So I was like, okay, I'm going to watch this because I was waiting for the action for when the, you know, the bad people get the key and all that stuff. And I didn't know it was two keys. I thought it was one key. So that was interesting. But either way, I'm going to end this because I've been running my mouth as usual so good to see y'all again don't forget to subscribe and like and share and i hope y'all having a great holiday i mean that look holiday i mean weekend that's what i meant to say